It comes today from uh, Medi, uh, featuring Otili Brown. It's called Otai, Otailo, Otailo Brown. <laughs> About 13 minutes o'clock, you're over 8 in the morning, and I want to say welcome to the show. If you have just joined us, you're listening to 107.8 Uruguay uh, FM. Uh, we do this every Monday to Friday, 6 to exact, you over 10. My name is Julie, together with uh, Jenny in the studio. We're getting out to uh, the Ula Jogbo program right here. It is called the Olgo Chirani Jogbo. Yes. Mm. Very long. Of course, you let us know what is happening in your village, in your community. There are things that actually you feel like this should not be happening in our community. But because of ignorance, I, I may say, people, uh, or people saying, choose to do so just to annoy others. Yes, I was telling people that we are not just doing in Jogbo, we are doing in Jogbo for change. For transformation. Some people fear for telling, development. Some people fear telling other people. We are doing in Jogbo for. Try, eh, you got to try. try uh, uh, what? This, this, what? Uh, this, is, this, uh, this one of the core issues of the manifesto. Prosperity. We are doing Nijogo for prosperity uh -huh. for all. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Are uh -huh. We are doing Nijogo for transformation. We are doing lines, Nijogo yeah. for positive change. We are doing Nijogo. Better our sounds better now. For prosperity for all. For change. And uh, change is a uh, positive change. That's it's prosperity for all. Change. Anyway. 0783808080 is the number to call and be part of the show. Let us know what's happening in your community uh, early this morning. Now, of course, uh, for students, they are supposed to go back to school. Senior twos. Senior twos. Why? Okay, okay. Ah, they they are the ones who have not gone back to school. So, yes. Remember, candidates first went, then again, semi candidates, and after semi candidates, things and candidates are still at school right now. So uh, the next ones are senior twos. When you when you say, when, when will the senior ones go to school? Uh, senior ones went to school on uh, April 12th. About a year, a month ago, mm. April 12th. So, so senior twos are going a month later. So we can say that senior twos, senior one went before senior twos. Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Jenny, are you sure of what you're talking about? Ja April 12th is when senior ones reported back to school. And the senior May twos stayed home. 13th is when senior twos should report back to school. Because what is confusing me, we also have two senior ones. There's do those ones who have just started. Uh, uh, those ones just started. Where are yeah. their results slips? How can they join senior one without results slips now? Don't be confused. Uganda today. Mm. This is Uganda today. This is not Uganda today. A a anyway, I, I think as we talk for as of today, Everyone is in school. Mm. Senior, senior you said, two is not in school. You said this, okay. Once senior senior two is go to school, then we have everyone in school. Ah, uh, P1, P2, P3. Uh, leave alone. I'm school. talking about secondary school. Yes. We shall have everyone in if school. If you say everyone, you're meaning... Ah, uh, in secondary everyone. school. I'm saying in secondary school. Good. That is beginning on... Uh, 13th May. 13th. Uh, the, after the swearing in, they are first going to have the swearing in, then they con they start the school. school. 13th happens to be... A is it... Thursday. A Thursday? Why did they begin on a Thursday? Even you remember. Since I was born, it was uh, actually a norm that you report to school on, Monday. on a Monday. But, but this time around, October, it's. Uh, you remember yeah. October 15th when candidates were supposed to go back? It was a Thursday. So I, I think because of COVID, we <laughs> have changed it from Thursday. Monday. It will, it will, it, it's <laughs> always be a, a, a Thursday. Anyway, what let's, let's start, uh, get away from the Holocaust. So 0783 Isa Tuderi, Arona, Aroisa, Aroisa, Aroisa is the number to call us and be part of uh, Nijogwa program. Let's get to it, listening to what you've got to tell us early this morning. Hey, 
Yes, sir. Yes. Audio Pascali. What Women, have what have they done? done? Hmm. Mm. Who is there? Of course. Hey. Mm. They are the commanders. Mm. 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 Okay. Hey. Of your Pascal. Hello. Hello. Talk to us and say hello. Somebody online. What is happening? Online, say hello. Sorry. Mm. Somebody next. Oh, Willa. Ogela and Jogbo. Okay. okay. Mm. All right. Thank you very much for joining us, Bogiri. Hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> so when they're enjoying it, they think everyone is enjoying. Some of us we sleep with our sailors. Yeah, we sleep with our problems. No, here somebody's just there. Mm. Mm. Hey, even on the streets. Hello. No, noise pollution on the streets. Thank you. Chichere. Hello. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hello. Yes, yes. please. Good, Good morning. morning. Yes, Ooh. Boa. Where are you, Boa? Okay. Mm. What has the government done? Okay. okay. Mm. Maybe we don't have corrupt officials. All right, well, it's not being done. Thank okay. you for joining us, Boa. Jenny. Maybe we don't have big. Uh, we don't have uh, seeds. We don't have uh, uh, those people here. Where? In the achievement, that's why there's no one who's been convicted of corruption. Be quiet. Hello. Somebody likes her. Hello. Talk to us and say hello. Hey, mm. Jesus Christ! Hey. But what is this on a Monday? You have put us on on hold. Hmm? We start wait. Hello. Yes. yes. Hey, Amarura. Hmm. Mm. Pelere. Pelere. Hmm. Mm. Ali, okay. I'm going to talk Say hello. Our luck and last caller, say hello. Okay. Jenny, you should be having this run this morning. Well, don't why you? Up any other phone calls. Thank you so much. I don't know why you are passed when you are coming this morning. Uh, anyway. Uh, eight in the morning. Mm. Now, let's go to the job. was very fast. Your Pio Kodan was complaining about these women who want to order around their husbands in the home. You have to stay by their commands mm. in the home. Mm. But I, I'm not understanding how that works out. It also depends, by the way, on how you treat yourself as a man in the house. If you're a man and you not you do not have you do not exhibit the characters of a man, probably a woman will take over. 
Because like, but what, what what makes you a man? I've never told people. I've never told people. Being a man, it's not only impregnating a woman and having a baby and you say, now I'm a man. Are you fulfilling the roles and responsibilities of a man? If you are not, then a woman will take over. Now why would I have to add it? So it depends. That? It depends. I, I, I don't just imagine a woman from nowhere. You are a man. You do uh, you do your roles as a man and the woman and comes and you around. Uh, commands you. Sit down. And you sit down. I like stand what, up. And I you like, stand up. I like mm -hmm. when you said roles and responsibilities. I think there is something. Something maybe is wrong somewhere. Not just being a man. Opio Pascal. Find out, is this man doing his roles as a man? Together with Amarula complaining about a maram that has been dumped on roads in Kuda and in Moyo. And this, uh, ma the maram is not being, uh, you know, scattered, spread on the road. Mm. Something like that. You guys, uh, when they, uh, Amarula says that when they try telling you, they're saying it is the rainy season, the roller is going to become muddy, and the rest of it all. When it was the dry season, you were quiet, you didn't do anything. So which one is the best time for you to do this thing so that people can give you that? What, what I only want to tell these people who are working on roads is, if you have chosen to work on the road today, do not do a long distance. Do sort and finish, and finish it. it. Other than you, you see, they, they decide that this week is pouring of maram. You pour from here up to JP. Honestly speaking, it, cause, it causes there. a lot of uh, disturbances. Well, you come and pour a short distance and complete it on that day. Tomorrow, continue. This is what I want to advise them. Kitela was complaining about neighbors who play very loud music, inconveniencing other people, and then you don't even feel it. Some people even do this on the streets, by the way. I, I think you should think about others as well. All these things mm. of feeling about yourselves, you're doing things because they make you happy, and you don't mind about other people. Time so, will come and you'll be feeling inconvenienced when they do that to you. To you. Yes, yeah. uh, Mapengo was, was complaining about thieves. People who are in homes, like for example, Julie and I stay in the same home. And then uh, uh, theft takes place. After the theft taking place, I can't complain. I know the thief. The thief is in this home. Even I know him. I know her or whatever it is. Why don't you mention the thief? Not even mentioning. Why don't you take him to the LOC? Why don't you take him to police? No, mention so that people can take action. These things of keeping, I know the thief. I know the person who no, stole this. No. I know the person who did this. That means you're encouraging that person to do that. I, I, I was told that some people, people some people are scarecrews. They want just to speak so that somebody say, please forgive me. I, think, I think he has known me. Abu <laughs> uh, was complaining about this corruption thing in government. We keep talking about corruption, left to right, corruption, IGG, Shijiringi, all those agencies are still for fighting corruption, but it doesn't seem like uh, there are foods coming out of this uh, corruption things and fighting it is really not a thing that we uh, are looking at or maybe seriously taking up. But honestly speaking, I think his statement makes a lot of sense. You look, when you go through, you find corruption is one of the biggest challenges Uganda is facing. Mm. But we, if you go back and ask in Ajumani district, how many people have been convicted of corruption? In a, final, in a given financial year, you'll find no one or perhaps one person. But when you find out the resources that are missing, that people have stolen, are more than being stolen by one person, different departments. Now, why is it that uh, the anti-corruption unit, uh, this, uh, Nakarima. I live Nakarima, this one here of IGG, mm. what work are they doing? What's their roles and responsibilities? We don't see people being... Actually, we need to find out when we hear on reports that Uganda is among those top corrupt countries, in East Africa, in Africa. We'll then like, we expect a number of people are in custody because of corruption. corruption. But you find they are not there. What is it? Thank you so much for joining us. We're taking it beyond that. The news is coming up at 12 of the hour. When we return in the next hour of our topic of discussion, keep it here. Good morning, I see.